Hello and welcome to Amateur Web MD TV. I'm Tad and I'll be your amateur surgeon for today. This is an N95 mask. This piece of equipment has been in very short supply and I want to talk to you today about how to sterilize it for reuse. There's an article in the New York Times that suggests that they're putting them in a room full of vaporized hydrogen peroxide, which is awesome, except nobody has that at home. What we do have is a lot of water and we have the capacity to heat that water up, say in a rice cooker or vegetable steamer. What you need to do is get this mask up to 140 degrees or more Fahrenheit, that's 60 degrees Celsius, for a period of 30 minutes. If you put it in the rice cooker with a quarter cup of water or 50 milliliters of water, hit the go button and walk away. The rice cooker should shut off within about eight or nine minutes, which means that it'll be above that 60 degree threshold until about 30 minutes from then, which will be fine. In which case, this will be completely sterile. If you have better temperature control, reduce the heat to between 150 and 160 degrees and keep it there for 30 minutes, preferably in a wet environment. The part of this mask that won't like this process are the straps and a valve, possibly, if it has one. So if you are doing this form of sterilization, you need to inspect these very carefully to make sure they don't break. Make sure that that valve is still working the way it should be working. Realistically, in a medical setting, you kind of don't want that valve. If the straps do break, which is the number one failure I've found with these masks, go to Office Depot or Staples or wherever and get these clips and some rubber bands and replace the straps with those clips. Won't be quite as comfortable, but it'll work and it'll keep you from getting sick. Now, a little bit of explanation here. This mask is made out of polypropylene plastic. That polypropylene plastic has a negative ionic charge to it, which attracts particles. It's the same technology that's used in, say, a Swiffer pad or a microfiber towel. That negative charge doesn't go away. You can defeat it for a short period of time, but why would you? And, and most importantly, it doesn't go away. So this has the capacity to keep trapping virus for a long, long, long time. Its tolerance is for 370 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. So as long as you keep it well under that, you should be fine to reuse that. The elastic, however, doesn't have the same kind of temperature resistance. Most rubber starts decaying around 160 to 180 degrees. So in any case, feel free to reuse this. Even if you're not using it for yourself, think about using it as a viral filter for a patient who might have COVID-19 or some other thing that you don't want to get. In any case, remember, this mask is reusable, it is safe, it will decay under ultraviolet light. Nobody kind of knows what it'll do under vaporized hydrogen peroxide, but we do know that it's safe to sterilize at temperatures, and particularly if you have temperature control. The hospital guidelines 140 degrees or higher, 60 degrees Celsius, for 30 degrees or more at 80% relative humidity or higher. Means wet, means hot, means 30 minutes, okay? Remember, I'm your amateur surgeon here on Amateur Web MD TV. Don't believe everything you hear on TV. Please fact check everything. And remember, I'm not a surgeon. I just play one on TV. Thank you. Be healthy. Be strong.